Hey, what's up? This is Todd Smith, and I'm back with another video. In this video, I want to talk about an upcoming little groove box. A company called Twisted Electrons is bringing out blasted beats. This hardware groove box will be based on the Creative Sound Labs 90s technology that you used to put in your computer. If you've got some age on you, like me, you will recall that back in the day, gaming PCs just didn't need graphics cards. You needed to update your sound card too. Bringing you back to the MS-DOS era, these 90s Sound Blaster cards actually had a Yamaha FM chip. The YMF-262, another name known by OPL3, this was a very hard chip to program back in the day with the hardware it was released with, but the modern interface brought in by Twisted Electron's Blast Beats really opens up the floodgate, something that was locked behind a very deep menu dive before. They have turned it into a 10 voice groove box with six drum parts and four instrument parts. All faders can be automated and modulated per step. There are 100 kits, the sequencer allows you to create 160 songs with 16 patterns and 64 steps per song. Storage is done on an SD card, which is included with the machine. You can also control blasted beats via MIDI, which is really cool, and unlock it into a 4 operator 8 waveform poly synth. This is all for €5.99, Euro, and that's pretty cool if you're kind of more retro, dossy type guy who has some blood in that era. If you're into kind of like chip tunes, kind of video game sounder stuff, I think this is going to be an amazing product for you. I definitely have kind of an you know fondness for the MS-DOS gaming era. I just love that era of gaming. I still game today, but obviously when you grow up, the things you do as a kid have that nostalgic kind of feel to you. In the 90s definitely had a lot of that computer MS-DOS technology going on in my childhood. It'll definitely be a semi-niche product, but I have a feeling if it's built well and performs well, it could sell pretty good. What is your opinion on the Groovebox based on the 90s Sound Blaster? Definitely a little curveball. Would love to know your opinion, and as always, stay positive, stay creative, support each other, and peace.